Just um, uh, how did uh, yesterday go, and, and how does the, the thumb feel today? Uh, it's, it's sore. Uh, <laughs> it was a pretty good throwing session yesterday. Uh, just, you know, trying to get the motion back and everything, uh, get it feeling where I want it to feel. Jimmy, you, you mentioned that in the second half in the Tennessee game after you heard it, you had kind of had to adjust your the way you were gripping it or, or throwing it. Is, is that going to be kind of what you have to do moving forward, and, and is that kind of what you were trying to get back yesterday too? Yeah, kind of just feeling that out, uh, feeling the new tape job that we're working with. Um, yeah, really, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to get it back to my old motion where it's just, you know, fluid and everything like that, but it'll just take some time. It's, uh, you know, it's a process, but we're working in the right direction. Jimmy, how frustrating was it to sit on the sidelines in that last game? And then what did you see from Trey throughout the game? Uh, it was, I mean, frustrating because you want to be out there with the guys. But whenever we could get a win, I mean, especially in the situation we're in, just, you know, everyone matters. It's playoff time now. And so that in that aspect, I was, you know, ecstatic. We got the win and, you know, move on to the next. But uh, Trey, I thought, did really well. You know, he was, he was calm out there, did well on the sideline, tried to help him out as much as I could. But, uh, you know, he did well. Hey, Jimmy, Kyle has said he's not going to announce who's going to be starting publicly, uh, you know, before Sunday. Do you have to be careful um, about how you're answering our questions? Uh, I don't think so. Are you asking me any tricky questions or something? Or? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Do you have to, you know, not, not reveal too much, uh, give anything away? I, I mean, I don't know. For all we know, there's a, a decision has already been made. Uh, um, I mean... I don't know. I feel like we have a good relationship. Just uh, me being truthful with you guys and everything. So <laughs> I'm really not trying to trick you guys or anything. Uh, I don't know. Just um, no. Just answering the questions like normal. Uh, going about my business. I just trying to get this thumb right. I know it's not, it's cliche, but uh, yeah, that's really all I'm worried about right now. Jimmy, you said it's you know it's sore. It might take some time to get it back. It sounds like it's a little tentative that you're not a hundred percent or. You're not throwing how you usually throw. Is is that a fair assessment? And I, I guess do do you feel like you're going to get back to where you usually were by the end of this week? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, any injury, you're definitely not 100. percent But I, uh, I don't know. It's yeah. It's it's one of those things that you know, it's it's hard to explain this to people. But it's literally a day by day thing. Just you know, yesterday felt good. Woke up this morning after throwing. Didn't feel so hot. Uh, so it's just you know, each day will be different. It's just about rehabbing it getting the swelling down, uh, getting the motion back, all those little things. Jimmy Branch was just kidding. He, uh, Kyle actually said that you're supposed to tell us who's starting on Sunday. So if you want to share that, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, given, given the stakes of, of this game and, and the situation that you're in, how much do you kind of have to battle internally with, you know, being honest with yourself about how the thumb feels versus wanting to, of course, be out there for such a big game? It's uh, it's definitely a fine line. It is, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, just thinking during the day, at night, uh, you know, about everything that really has gone into this whole season to get us to this point. It's just, uh, you know, it's a long season. A lot of things happen. A lot of different players play. You know, the ups and downs, and you uh, you go through all that stuff just to get an opportunity that we have this Sunday. So I mean, that's that's all you could ask for. You know, as far as playing, I'm gonna do everything I can to be out there with the guys. You know, it's uh. It's a big one. And so whatever I can do to be out there, I'm going to be out there. But, you know, at the same time, you got to be smart and think about what's going to be best for the team to win. And so you just got to be smart with all the decisions you make. And kind of along those same lines, lines Jimmy, do you have to consider the long term and the short term? I mean, if, if you push this thing too much, could it lead to, to more difficulty down the road? Do you anticipate having offseason surgery? How are you approaching that kind of area in this whole situation uh yeah i mean all those all those things you take into account uh to a certain degree um you know but it's football you, you want to be out there uh i don't know i'm a big believer of living in the moment and whatever happens in the future happens in the future so you know i'm trying to be out there whatever uh degree that is uh but yeah i'm, I'm trying to get to 100 there, percent. there's just i know i keep saying talking on both sides of my mouth here but there's just so many variables that go into these decisions and you're trying to be out there. I, I, I want everything in my body to be out there, but you know you got to be smart at the same time. Yeah, Jimmy. Um, when um, when Elijah Mitchell came in, sixth sixth round draft pick, uh, 
he has had the reputation ever, ever since high school and college of being this incredibly hardworking, super humble, quiet guy. I'm curious as to have, as the season's gone, has he come out of his shell at all, or is he the, still the same guy you saw that came to the first practice? Um, he's become more talkative. Yeah, definitely. Just, uh, I mean, he was very quiet when he first got here, like all rookies are. But he was, uh, like you, I mean, you described it pretty well right there. He was quiet. He was humble, hardworking, and he really hasn't. I mean, he's become more open talkative but as far as the humble and hardworking stuff that hasn't changed a bit and for a rookie to you know have as much success as he's had and still remain the same it's a it's a that's a rare combo right there and so that's that's why you love him as a teammate love him as a friend he just he's everything you could want kyle used the uh the verb he was describing your thumb um relatch like the, the more time you have away um that the, the firmer it becomes have, have you felt that over the last 13 days and is 13 days enough to kind of have any sort of relaxing going on in that in that hand uh i mean that's I, that's a tough one to call yeah i mean basically what we're trying to do is let the bone reattach to the other bone so it's it's just a process you know it's uh it takes time i don't know we, we've been doing everything we can to speed it up but it's just uh yeah, you got to let, you know, nature do its thing and let your bones heal up. But, you know, at the end of the day, I know it's not going to be 100 uh, percent. I'm realistic about that, but we're doing everything we can to get it as close as we can to that. Two more, please. Jimmy, what does it feel like to throw with the torn ligament in your thumb? Is it a combination of pain and a lack of control? What does it feel like? It fucking it hurts. <laughs> it uh, I, don't, I don't know how else to describe it. It's, it feels like. The web in your hand is kind of tearing a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's that's probably the best way I could describe it. But you know, it's it's all good. <laughs> Jimmy, with the success that you guys have had against the Rams in the last several games, and this obviously this game meaning so much, especially with the younger guys, do you have to talk at all about overconfidence versus confidence? I uh, I I don't even know if we talk about it, but I think it's just understood in, in our locker room. You know, guys. Uh, we have a good group, good group of leaders who kind of set the tone for everybody and then everyone else, you know, just follows suit. And it's a confident locker room, no doubt about it. But I would not say we're cocky by any means. Uh, I think we're confident in the right way to go out on that field. And, you know, we've proved it in the past and we just got to go do it again on Sunday that, you know, the style of football that we play. Thanks, guys. That it? Thank you, guys. All right. Thanks, guys in the Rams from the first time you guys prepared to face them now that Odell Beckham is is more integrated into what they're doing oh uh, yeah they they for sure uh want to get him the football uh any way possible that's what you want to do with your playmakers um you know you see how many how many touchdowns he's had just in a short amount of time with them compared to you know what he had with the Browns and um you know another difference I see is them committing to the run a lot more which opens up things for uh their receivers um, you know, Sonny Michelle has been running the ball really hard, uh, really respect his game. And, uh, you know, Stafford has been, has been, uh, you know, obviously his, his outstanding self the entire season. So, um, you know, we're going to have our hands full. Fred, I know you guys have, have said consistently that you're kind of in, in playoff mindset and mentality for the, for the last few weeks now, but going into this game where it's the last one and, and everything's kind of on the line, how much do you tap into maybe like 2019 where you had kind of a do or not, not do or die, but a, a big stakes game in, in the final week of the season, particularly with the young guys who maybe haven't been in the situation before? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I, you know, if I would, I mean, yeah, that, that experience for sure has helped, uh, you know, it's helpful for me and guys who were here, um, you know, just kind of that, that pressure situation. I, I feel like, even even last game was a high pressure situation. We lose that game, we have no chance at the playoffs, um, and it is the playoffs literally. Like if if we don't win, like we don't make it. So it's, you know, if you didn't have a if you didn't have a reason to kind of give it your all throughout the week and prepare as if it was your last, like this is the one. Like, it, and I, I'm I'm assuming everybody, and I have, I have great confidence that everybody, uh, you know, has prepared hard all year long. It, nothing's going to change this week. Um, you know, obviously the level of um, the attention to detail, the um, you know, just the just the focus and practice and in, in the meetings has got to be at an all-time high. 
Fred, obviously some teams just match up well with, with, with other teams. Um, and so I think you know where I'm headed. But, um, you know, is there, you know, when you see the Rams, is a comfort or, or a confidence just based on your recent history? Like, okay, yeah, I know you want to avoid bulletin board material, but, um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. man, you killed me. Oh, man. I mean, no, listen, they they are an outstanding football team. They are literally one of the best teams in the NFL right now. You know, they're in the, that top three, top five conversation. Like, if we don't come to play, they're going to embarrass us. That's that's how I'm looking at it, and that's just what it is. Um, you know, and so, like I said, like, like I just said before, preparation got to be at an all-time high if we want a chance to win. Fred, early in the year, you were outspoken and, and a proponent of, of the vaccine and, and said you would talk to guys about it. I'm, I'm curious if similar conversations are being had about the booster and, and perhaps a, a heightened importance, um, given that the postseason is, is upcoming potentially. Uh, it's it's kind of, I would say it's it's similar in the fact that, like, if, if somebody has a question about it, like, I, I mean, I have the booster, so I'd be, well, I'd be welcome to, you know, give my input on, like, you know, my from my experience with it. But um, just like with the vaccine prior, like, it's everybody's decision at the end of the day. Um, you know, I think it's important for everybody to be as well informed about it as possible and then make an informed decision. Um, and that's just that's just how we've done it all year, so. Fred, with the number of DBs uh, on the COVID list, and Kyle said he's optimistic they'll be back on Sunday. Does that add a little bit extra pressure to to the rest of you guys on the front? Well, I mean, anytime we don't have you know some key players, you know, especially some of the guys who are out right now, that's gonna um, you know it's gonna now have other people with the um, how am I trying to say this? next man up mentality basically the guys who were below them they now have to step up and take those reps and be ready to go if those guys are not available for us come sunday um you know and that's just the that's just the times we're living in like you know it it, it could have happened any time this year and you know unfortunately these last couple of weeks we've had some guys go on the on the list and um, i know the rules are different now with how long they got to be out and stuff but at the same time guys got to be ready no matter what um regardless if it's COVID or injury or anything um it's always next man up, but of course we want our best players on the field. We're reaching the end of uh, Marcel's first season converting from safety to linebacker. What's what's your assessment of him uh, going into week 18? Uh, I think he's done an outstanding job, honestly. You, you, I mean, you look, if you went, if I pulled up clips and I showed y'all, you know, you know where, where he was back in training camp compared to where he is now, um, you know, back then it was it was a true like DB trying to transition to linebacker, but I can comfortably say now that he is a linebacker. Like, and I'm sure he could still go back and play DB if, if we need him to. But the the footwork, the the block protection, like you know, where like how he's using his hands in the trenches. Uh, you know, the, the tackling's always been he's always been a violent tackler. He's always been an aggressive player. Uh, he's always had a knack for the ball, you know, and those are all things now where now that he's getting more comfortable in his role, uh, you know, and playing at the second level, he's able to kind of now use those instincts. And you're starting to see, obviously, him making those plays that he's always been accustomed to making just now at, at the linebacker position. Uh, and so I think he's done an outstanding job. His progression is, has continued to do this, and that's it'll, and I know it will continue to do that as well because he's just humble and he works hard, a asks the right questions, um, and just keeps his head down and works. Fred, Ambry Thomas has made a lot of improvements in the last couple games. What have you seen from him, both him and Demo, as they head into one of their biggest games of their NFL career so far? Yeah, I think uh, with with Ambry, just just the confidence level, uh, and that, that's I think that's what's most important at that position. Corner is by far one of the hardest positions to play in football. Um, you know, especially as a rookie, he, he's come in and, and done an admirable job. He's done. Uh, better and better each week. You keep you keep seeing how he's just that closer and closer to making a play on the ball uh, and taking one in, like bringing one in to help change the game for our team. Uh, and who knows? Maybe this is the week he does it. But just that confidence. He's always had. He has the ability. He has everything you want in a premier corner. You know the the length, the size, the speed, uh, the 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 instincts. And now that he's starting to kind of get that confidence a little bit, you you starting to see him. 
uh, you know, getting closer and closer to bringing one in. And Demo, he's he's been this he's been the same guy all year, uh, continuing to get better. I love Demo. I love the way that he competes, how aggressive he is. He's his willingness to tackle, uh, you know, competing when the ball's in the air, covering guys. He's not afraid of anyone, uh, and you know that's. That might just be that SoCal in him. I don't know, but you know uh, he he he's a dog, and I I love both those guys. And um, you know the ride hasn't been easy for either of them, and that's just how it is your rookie year. And but I lo I've loved what I've seen in terms of like progressing and getting better as players. You, you were uh, candid earlier in the year you, that you didn't feel like you were at your you know kind of first team all, all pro level. You had career high fifteen tackles. Sunday, I know it's not just, oh, okay, that was your best game because you had 15 tackles, but um, have has there been a progression? I mean, you, are you now at a place where you feel like, okay, this feels like I'm at a 2020 level? Uh, I mean, I feel like I'm 2022 level now, you know. Uh, it's, um, it's it's for sure been, it's been, it's been quite the roller coaster all year. Um, you know, I've, I've learned so much just of myself and of, you know, just kind of going through some, you know, some hardship or I guess you can call it some hardship throughout the season. Um, you know, there was a, po a point in time where, uh, you know, I was in a, in a in a darkish place and I had to kind of bury myself out of there. And uh, and I finally I wish I would have figured it out sooner, but I feel like now I finally figured it out as to why, um, you know, I, I was where I was and where I'm at now. I'm for sure. The, the the best I've ever been right now, um, mentally and physically, in it in all in all areas of my game. Uh, I think that's why you did see the performance this past Sunday, and why I'll perform, you know, at my best come this Sunday. Um, and you know, it's it's just been one big lesson I feel like this season, and it's all coming to a head come Sunday. All right, thank you guys. We got Jimmy right here for you. Hey Faithful, don't forget to click here to subscribe to our YouTube.